Hello everyone, my name is Abdullah Zahwan from Indonesia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to talk or we are going to demonstrate how do we can generate multiple design with changing data or dynamic data. Usually, we use dynamic data or changing data like a certificate as we can see here in this demonstration i want to use certificate design or if we create something like business card name card or you can use your own special case but in this video i am going to demonstrate about certificate and we are going to do that with Figma because uh, in Figma we can install or we can find various plugin and the plugin is this generator so as we can see here a generator is a Figma plugin that help us quickly generate multiple design with changing data dynamic data such as certificate with different names or business card with different contact information so we can not only one or two variable we can have many variable as we want here but we see like a definition here we use csv file and also we have a variable here and this is the convention and so on and so on and if we want to read the documentation here we can just go to this go to this uh, links or you can check this plugin link in the description video all right so here how do we use all right so let's read this first the introduction the definition and the important thing here is this one global variable so if we want to change all things in text so we can just use this syntax which is global variable and if we want to insert something like a uh, inline this name it as inline variable which is we use curly braces for example blah 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 and so on and so on so let's say we put a variable inside long text as you can see here all right so here we use this has text symbol to indicate a global variable so let's say use email as header inside csv file and we name our layer using hashtag email so let's go to the demonstration here here i have certificate design a layer or in this case I use as a frame and as you can see here this is my Figma project and inside Figma we can have many many pages as we want so here inside this certificate design frame we have like this this and this so usually in inside certificate or another thing like business name card we have like static assets or static variable it's mean that it never changed but we can also have a like dynamic data such as name and then uh, in this case in certificate we have like date of certificate and then course title here we want to change this three like username that of certificate and also course title 
So based on this documentation, the convention is we need to change the layer name to be have like hashtag here as we can see hashtag username hashtag course title and also hashtag certificate date so let's see here i have created something like csv file this is username as a header course title and this date of certificate so it's mean we need to copy in this and then rename this to hashtag and this date of certificate let's check course title username we have should uh, like this convention so to run the plugin we can just uh, because I have installed plugin in my Figma so we can just go to this and then plug in and then press generator and this is what we see for the very first time so here we have select source frame it mean we can select the design template and so on so in this case we select certificate design template here and we see use certificate design and then press this and next we need to import our csv file let's say in this one and then open and we can see here and then press next and here we will see like choose header and then press this press anything we want to set up or to put in our template and we can select what frame name we can use like username and so on and so on and if we use a inline variable like this one we use a curly braces but in this case I don't use this one so we can just press generate and as we can see here all done generation successful you can now use your new frame as we can see here inside the CSV data we have one two three four five it's around uh, five data from this to this and as we can see here it's also generate one two three four five five certificate at once so we can we don't need to manually type the name type the course name and so on and so on as we can see here let's say let's go to this first name which is the name is this the course name is framework expert and the uh, certificate that is june 16 2024 let's check inside csv file which is this the username this uh, course title and this date of certificate and it's match as we write in this csv data and if we want to export we can just export it so we can try to find maybe a plugin that can export multiple design into one file and so on and so on and maybe if we have a little bit uh, revision so we can just delete it all and we just need to change the template here let's say we uh, move the logo i think we move this one to bottom and then we move the logo to this here and we can just run again and then select the file and then uh, select 
the frame or the layer here and then next choose the header again and select output frame name and then press generate again all right we see five of five successfully and it's like we did previously it means it's a uh, match with this csv file all right so it's very simple and thanks to the to this creator of the plugin which is this so you can just try to use this plugin through link in the description below maybe we revert back the design and we can just generate again using exactly same step like we did before all right so yeah i think it's very very useful for us if we have dynamic data or changing data so we don't need to manually duplicate 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 so we can just press we can just change the data and then generate all the design at once all right so yeah i think that's enough my video today if you have any questions or comment write it down on the comment field thank you so much and see you again on the next video